The massive drug raid swept across 28 American states. Federal Drug, Customs, and Border Patrol agents joined local authorities to target synthetic drugs, large and small. You don't always have to be moving big, huge quantities and bundles of cocaine or suitcases full of dirty money for us to notice you. Sometimes all it takes is to be the source of a river of poison that runs through a few city blocks. Just enough crack and heroin to ruin a neighborhood. That gets our attention. The drugs include Molly, a club drug so prevalent it's inspired its own musical genre. For Molly. And the synthetic marijuana called Spice. Drugs authorities say are more powerful and dangerous than the real thing. People lose their minds on this stuff, and it really is a poison. We had a 14-year-old who smoked Spice and hallucinated and thought he had demons inside of him and tried to cut it out with a chef's knife. The raids involved 45 drug enforcement agency offices, 200 search warrants, 150 arrests, more than $20 million in cash and assets seized, and hundreds of thousands of individually packaged, ready-to-sell synthetic drugs. Many of the drugs are sold online and sold as bath salts or plant food to hide their real purpose. They call it Project Synergy. Here in Illinois and across the U.S., federal and local agents banded together in overwhelming force to seize a massive array of man-made narcotics. Their conclusion? Synthetic drugs now reach nearly every corner of America. Authorities say they traced the flow of the drug money to Yemen, Jordan, Syria, Lebanon, and other sites in the Middle East. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.